What you doing? Spitting nasty hay out of my mouth. Besides that. <laughs> Getting these things prepared for the, what are we going to call it? Arctic blast. Arctic blast of the season. Could be a blizzard. Really don't know yet, huh? Getting them some old, old hay. And they don't know if they want to eat it or lay in it. Lane, you'll be stopped up for sure, huh? Mm-hmm. Already starting? <laughs> so we are out today is a day of hustling we are trying to get ready for the weather that's coming our way like we said don't really know yet what that's going to entail it could be a just cold weather it could be a blizzard who knows but we do know it's going to be extremely extremely cold temperatures for here in central arkansas and it's probably not anything that some of you are you're probably used to it i guess what i'm trying to say but we're not here we're not set up for it our animals are not set up for it for this extreme extreme cold this is like record breaking cold negative temperatures here um and so we just got to try to make it through it our water systems are not set up for it and 
um, it's just something that doesn't happen very often so it's just one of those things we're preparing as best we can but we just at some point have to you know get as prepared as we can but then go with it once it happens because even the weather people are not sure on what all is going to go down whether we're going to have a bunch of snow or just cold or just what so we're just trying to get ready for anything So one of the reasons we're doing this is to give them a dry place to get. Um, these houses tend to get muddy just like the ground outside does. So we're trying to give them a place not only to get in there and nestle down and get warm, but to be dry. Dry is the main thing uh, with this cold weather. You don't want them wet and cold. They can stand a lot of cold, but you throw the wet in there, it gets dicey pretty quick. One of the things with the wet and cold is pigs tend to get pneumonia. It's one of the main and really only things we face here on our farm with pigs getting sick is pneumonia. And that's just something we're trying to head off here with this weather coming. We don't want a, a pneumonia outbreak on top of everything else. Come on, keep her. Which one? She got a lot of oh, her? Yeah. Oh yeah, she's cute. Different. Hey girl. Hi. You wanna stay? You wanna stay around here? You're super cute. going to give them a little protein before this weather comes in too. could see those they're called range cubes and they are formulated in the cube they're they're a lot bigger than normal feed on purpose they they form them into those to be able to be fed out on the range just like they sound um, if you don't have a feeder you don't have a way to feed your cows uh, and you want to give them some protein in the winter like we're doing then it's a good solution because you can put it out literally on the ground. Now we really do try to find like a cleaner spot. You don't want to put it like in a bunch of cow patties or anything and you want to move it around kind of so that you're not doing it in the same spot every time. But if you've never heard of something like that, you might want to check into that. See if your our local feed store carries that and just makes life a lot easier because we don't have feeders back here because we don't feed very much. Ours are mainly grass fed and we just try to give them a little boost of protein, maybe a time or two a week in the winter just to keep them um, strong and healthy when, when the forage and things, its nutrition is not as high as grass in the summer. So you might wanna check into that. before we leave out of here is if we do get snow and ice one thing we realized last year and you need to keep a check on is if you use electric use hot wire anything like that whatever you want to call it the snow and ice will build up on it and it will weigh it down and ground out your whole system uh, we had snow as well as ice accumulate and 
the snow kind of like hits and warms up on that hot wire and will still freeze just keep a check on your hot wires we had to go through and bust all that off to get a good connection again all right on to the next job we don't want to have to go very far to get hay in what's about to hit so i got my trusty sidekick pep hey hey nope stay so we are about to go haul some hay. Ben's already at the field, so we gotta head over there. back on a dirt road and we're up on top of a big hill of course it's gonna ding right now so I was saying we are pretty far back in here and behind our farm we're at we're at basically the back and this mountain let me turn you around let me see if I can show you out this passenger window So it goes up a ways. I don't know if y'all could really get a good feel of it, but we're kind of high right now as opposed to an elevation. And then this little hill mountain thing back here is even higher and passing the mailman. So that was Ben and I's dream place to build a house. Didn't happen, but maybe it will for one of the kids one day. All right, it's really wet y'all. So Ben's getting our trailer positioned. Sorry, it's loud. It's a farm. He's getting it positioned so once we get the hay on here, it's gonna get even heavier, obviously, so that we don't get stuck. He can pretty much do anything. So we're gonna be out here on the road. He's gonna bring the hay out here. That's the only way this is ever gonna work. That is one of the advantages to when the ground freezes is that you can drive in some of these lower, wetter places. out there. tip that you probably don't even need or want but you see the hay ben puts it in uh rows on the bottom of the trailer and then he always puts one on top of those and he puts it in the middle and that kind of locks the two together um, and it keeps them from falling off as easily especially when you're going down the road so anyway just a little tip maybe you're just wondering why he did that i don't know don't know why i even decided to tell you that but there you go we are gonna get this hay hauled, get this wrapped up. Hopefully we're as prepared as we can be. And I know in times past when we've had little things um, happen, like this cold snap we're ha gonna have, and it's not necessarily a little thing, but people, especially on YouTube and places that all they're seeing is glimpses of your life, they'll say, well, you say you weren't prepared, but why, why weren't you prepared? Well. For one thing, the cold temperatures like we're about to have are very, very rare for here. That'd be like you live in somewhere where it's fairly mild all the time and you don't have air conditioning, but then you have a heat wave and there's that one time of, you know, in a several year span that you think, man, air conditioning might be nice. We're not gonna go install that when 99% of the time you don't need it. Um, and that's just how it is. We're not equipped. Our stores don't sell the same things as, um, cold places you know we just don't have these like dangerous wind chills and things like we're gonna have the next few days 
like I said, we just can't even get the same supplies. So when it does happen on these rare occasions, we just have to make do. So that's what we're doing. It's not that people you see on YouTube that aren't prepared for things like this are irresponsible. It's just life. Uh, our weather is just not normally like this. So we just have to roll with the punches when it is. We have other things that we're not necessarily prepared for. The drought this summer. You know, who's prepared for that? You can't. So when it happens, you just have to make it through. So that's what we're going to do. You'll see what all goes down on the next few videos as as well as your other you know favorite youtubers and things i'm sure they'll be showing you what's going on in their neck of the woods too see you guys later god bless